How's it going guys? My name's No Wildy and welcome to my 1 to 99 crafting guide for old school RuneScape. In this guide I'll be going over the fastest, most profitable, passive and AFK methods to train crafting. If you're new around here please consider subscribing. Before we get into the methods I've got a few helpful tips. So as always there are quests that can be completed to gain crafting XP. None are essential but they are worth doing to get the free XP. The three furnace locations I'd recommend using are either the Priftonas Furnace, Shiloh Village Furnace or the Edgeville Furnace. The Priftonas Furnace is locked behind the Song of the Elves quest. The furnace in Shiloh Village costs 20 GP each time you want to use it. You can fill a coin deposit so you don't have to do it each trip. This is free if you have the Karanja Elite Diary unlocked. And the final one is Edgeville, it's free to use and it's easy access for any player. For other crafting activities you can use any bank, the Crafting Guild bank is unlocked at level 40 and it can be teleported to once you obtain level 99. So firstly I'll be going over the fast route. This way will be super expensive but it will be the quickest viable route to 99. From level 1 to 20 you want to be doing leather items or quests. The early levels are fairly fast and don't make too much of a loss so it's not too bad on doing leather items. Once you reach level 20 we're going to be doing different kinds of gems all the way to level 77. So from level 20 to level 27 you can cut sapphires. You'll need a chisel and you'll need to cut 132 sapphires which will give you a loss of 13k but you can expect around 135k XP per hour. This is great but this should only take around 5 minutes to reach level 27. From level 27 to level 34 you can cut emeralds. You'll need to cut 156 which will cost about 31k and you can reach 182k XP per hour. This should take around 10 minutes. From level 34 to level 43 you can cut rubies. This makes a loss of 142k and you can gain 229k XP per hour. Again this should only take around 10 minutes. From level 43 to level 55 you'll need to cut diamonds. To reach level 55 you'll need to cut 1082 diamonds. This gives a loss of about 800k but peaks at 200 190k XP per hour. This should take you around 25 minutes. Level 55 to level 77 we'll be doing Dragonstone. This is where it gets very costly. You're required to make 9520 and it will make a loss of 10.5 mil. However you will get a hefty 371k XP per hour and it should take you about 4 hours to reach level 77. So moving on from gems from level 77 to level 84 you want to be doing red dehyde bodies. You'll need a needle and thread and a red dehyde. You'll need to make 6,307 at a cost of 7.3 mil. You'll get XP rates of around 386k per hour and it should take you 4 hours to reach level 84. Now moving on to one of the fastest methods is black dehyde bodies. Like red dehyde bodies you'll require a needle and thread but instead you'll need black dragon hide. To level 99 you need to make 39,082 black dehyde bodies and it will cost a huge 88 mil. With a price like that you can expect to get 425k XP per hour and it should take around 23 hours to reach level 99. So now that we've covered the fastest method we now move on to the profit method. This is fairly slow XP so it's only recommended if you want to solely make a profit from crafting. As before level 1 to 7 you want to do quest or you could take a small loss to start with doing the lever items. From level 7 to level 13 you want to make gold bracelets. This requires 42 to be made and will get you a profit of 4.5k. From level 13 to level 22 you want to be making jade rings. This requires 119 to be made and it will get you a profit of 44.5k. Level 22 to level 38 you can do opal bracelets. This requires 551 to be made and will bring you a profit of 132k. Level 38 to level 45 you want to be making topaz bracelets. You'll need to make 415 and you'll get a profit of 120k. At level 45 you want to make topaz amulets all the way until level 74. You'll need to make 12,935. This will give you a decent profit of 6.5 mil and you can expect to gain 52k XP per hour and it'll take you around 20 hours to get to level 74. 
From level 74 to 99 you can make Dragonstone Bracelets. This requires 108,529. This will gain a profit of 11.5 mil and you can expect to get 71k XP per hour but it will take 168 hours to get to level 99 so it's only recommended if you want profit and not speed. So that was a profit method so now let's go over a few alternative ways you can train crafting. If you've completed the Varrock Diary, Zaf will sell you discounted battle staffs every day. These can be used with orbs to get crafting XP essentially for free every single day. I did this passively myself for months and I got so much free crafting XP without having to train properly. The completion of the Easy Diary will get you 15 per day, whereas the Elite Diary will get you 120 battle staffs every day. If you're going for 99 runecrafting, many people opt to do Zaya runecrafting. If you're unsure what that is or you want to get 99 runecrafting yourself, check out my 1 to 99 runecrafting guide, the link is in the description. Whilst doing Zaya runecrafting, you need to chisel down the dense essence. This grants crafting XP, it's around 7k an hour, but from level 77 to 99, you can expect 1.6 to 1.8 mil crafting XP, which passively trains your crafting. I did level 77 to 99 runecrafting at Blood Runes, at the Blood Altar, so I got quite a lot from this myself. A lot of people choose to do glass blowing for crafting XP, mainly because it's very AFK, but it does bring a small loss. It requires a glass blowing pipe and molten glass. At level 46, you can make unpowered orbs. This will give you about 90k XP per hour. When you reach level 87, you can move on to empty light bulbs. This gives a much larger loss as you can't sell the light bulbs, but you will get XP rates of 119k per hour. If you're looking for pure profit and you don't care about XP whatsoever, you can make clockworks. You'll need a crafting bench in a POH and you'll need steel bars. This is extremely slow, giving 15 crafting XP per clockwork made, but you can make 400 to 500 GP profit per clockwork. Thanks for watching my 1 to 99 crafting guide. I hope this has helped you out, and if it did, I'd be grateful if you could like the video and share it with your friends. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you've got a better way of trading your crafting, let everybody know in the comments so they can try it out too. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.